hello and welcome to another video tutorial on database today we want to look at errors uh, most students import csv file into database and they end up getting errors we want to see why that occurs so that you'll be able to avoid errors whenever you import a csv file into database all right, so looking at this 2016 specimen paper 2, um, the steps here say that we are supposed to use a suitable package and then import the file that, and this is the marking scheme, right? So here we suppose when you do all that, you're going to get five marks. So you can imagine that you're going to draw away five marks because of Error. And once you get the first part wrong, that means that the rest of the marks, you're going to dash it away. So getting the first things right is very important. Importing is very important. So you have to know how to get it right. So without much ado, I'll go straight to my database. I'm using access. So when I open access, I go straight to data external data so when i go to external data i go to text file because csv files are text files click on it and wait for it to open and once it's open i browse for the location of the csv file in my case it's on my desktop and within my working area so i open and that is a 2000 source file and i'm to import this very one so double click on it and click on OK. All right. So waiting for it to load up. Now, so it's right here. All I need to do is to go to Nest. Now, obviously, I can see that the first row here contains a field name. So I take that and then I go to Nest. Now, at this point here, I go to Nest. There's nothing much to do. Um, the question says that we should use VIN, that is VIN2, for our primary key or the field name. Okay, so I've chosen that and now all I have to do is to go to advanced. Now advanced, I want to see what I need to change. Now, at advanced, I need to see what I need to change. So when I open the question paper, you can see I have text, 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 currency, text, text, and then logical, which is the last one. And if I compare that to the question, which I have here, I can see the first three being text. Engine size is supposed to be text. And um, cost price is also supposed to be currency. And then um, this part is supposed to be boolean or logical. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this size. Um, I, let's assume I forgot to change the engine size to text. And all I have to do here is all I remember to do was to change cost price to currency and then again change the this part to boolean. Let's say I remember to do that because um, that is all I saw. I couldn't change the engine size to short text as it's rightly supposed to be. So I click on OK. And then although I've chosen the field key or the primary key to be vain, the next thing I do is nest. And then I put the TBL to indicate it's a table. So TBL, that's my table. And I click on finish. Uh, close. Now, once I do that, you can clearly see here that there's an error. There was an error simply because I did not change the field, the data type for the field engine size to text. Now, so you can see why you have errors anytime you import a CSV file into Access. So to do the right thing, I'll quickly will go back, delete this. So anytime you have an error, all you have to do is to delete. That is all you have to do. Do you want to delete? I click on yes. 
go back and delete the next one and then click on yes all right so having done i'm going to do the writing i go to a text file browse and then double click okay and go to nest i choose first fill contains the field name i go to nest nest i choose my primary key and go to um, advanced at advanced i have to change engine size remember we did not change it to short test okay don't forget short test long test are the same thing okay short test um, in old access 2007 is text and then for long test it's referred to as memo all right so but it's still basically the same thing text i have to change once again cost price to tech um, currency excuse me to currency and then i'll change this patch here to boolean as i'm supposed to do click on ok and then go to nest and then put table right there okay so tbl for table and i click on finish and close now you can see here that i did not have any errors in importing the csv file so that is how to avoid making errors now having done that it, the next thing you need to do is to make sure you go to home but before you do that make sure you double click on the table go to home view go to design view and then make sure you change the format for the data type always the field properties need to be changed for boolean and so here we quickly go and choose yes no or true false so i just choose yes no for the boolean under the field property for currency we just have to check from the question what you need to put there if you are supposed to check currency to um, the decimal place to two make sure you just change it to two and then for engine size if you are supposed to change um, there's nothing there to change because it's basically has um, no um, decimal place so having done that you click on save and you are done with importing your data so on this note we say bye bye and i encourage you to keep practicing and you'll be perfect all right so till we meet again next time be good bye bye